Hey guys, Emily here from Canva for Mompreneurs, and I wanted to take you through a quick kind of get to know Canva tutorial. So I've got my Canva open, um, and just a heads up, I do have the Canva Pro account, and I will kind of tell you the differences between the free version and the paid version as we go. So this is your home screen. Um, on the left, you're going to have a button that says all your designs. So anything that you've created is going to be piled in here in chronological order. In, and that's really the only order that it's in. Um, and I'll show you how to organize that. Shared with you is anything that maybe an, a friend or a coworker has shared a link with you so that you can um, make it your own. Your brand kit is something that comes only with Canva Pro and this is where you keep all of your logos to be handy as well as your brand colors and any brand fonts that you wanna save and upload. Uh, and that is only with Canva Pro. The content calendar or the content planner, this is new for Canva. This is where you can actually come in here, hit the plus sign and schedule posts to go out to social media, but not to Instagram. So that's a little strange, um, but only to really Facebook and then some of the major other social media outlets. Um, created teams, if you want to invite people to your team, you'd have to pay for them to be a part of your team. I just give coworkers of mine my login and password if I need them to do something. And then you've got all your folders. So this is for Canva Pro as well as for the free version. You can organize your designs into folders, which is really, really nice. So let's say you wanted to come into this main page and you want to get started with a design. So I'm going to hit create a design and you're going to choose where you're going to be posting this and you can see it's got the pixel size. It's really just changing the size of the post. So you do want to get it right um, the first time. So I usually do Instagram post and I always share it to Facebook and that size is perfectly fine for Facebook as well. So we're going to open up here. It's completely blank. I'm just going to start out by saying I don't like to start with a blank canvas and build my own design. Um, there's a reason that there are Canva templates. It's because there's professional graphic designers who've created these for us and they look beautiful. So no, no real reason for me to start something on my own. On the left, you've got your templates. So recently used, they're saying these are for me. They think for some reason I might like them. Um, coronavirus, newsroom. So they've sort of organized these templates for you. I'm going to choose this one right here. Um, it was a for me and I do really like it. So I'm going to pop that right in here. So when I use a template, I really like to only change one or two elements. So again, it's professionally designed. There's a reason that it looks the way that it does. And I don't want to play around with it too much. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, actually, you can see this is a little border that they've put on here. It moves around, um, but I'd like to change the picture because that picture has nothing to do with the piece of content that I'm going to put out there. Um, but in order to get the picture, I kind of need to move this guy over to the side. So we're going to do that and we're going to delete that picture. Okay. So don't worry, you haven't lost your text. It's just that the text is white and now it's kind of hidden. So I'm going to go over into um, uploads and I'm going to try to find, let's say I'm going to make a post about um, eating, eating well. I'm going to select this picture that of these protein pancakes that I've made and it's going to pop right in there. And I'm just using these little guides to make it fill out the entire space. Okay, so here we go, but there's a problem. Um, my text is now kind of very difficult to see. So I'm not loving that. So I'm going to, this is a little trick. I'm gonna go into elements on the left and I'm gonna choose a, a square. So you could type in here square. Uh, it happens to be up here already as something I've, I've recently used. I'm gonna pop that in there and I'm gonna make that fill the entire space over top of my picture. I'm going to change it to black, a dark color, and then I'm going to go up to this right hand side and hit transparency. So now um, I've got this black square over top. I'm playing with the transparency. Now you can still see my picture, but you can see the message a lot better, right? The wording. So um, let's say this is about eat real food. Um, my subtitle, and I'm just double clicking on these. 
and changing what it says. So eat right, not less, something to that effect. Um, and then we've got one more thing to do. I've changed the picture. I've changed what it says. I like the font, so I'm not going to play around with that. I got to get this um, square, this little border back in here, but it's underneath that black square. So I need to highlight that black square, hit position, and move it backwards. So you can see just doing that, now that square is highlighted white again. Now I can grab it and center it. So Canva does this awesome thing where it kind of locks things into place. It's super intuitive and it knows that I want this in the middle. And so it's showing me this pink grid um, to let me, know that that, let me know that that is in fact the middle. And so now I've got this great post, right? So um, if I were to add a page below, I'm just gonna go back into templates and I just wanna show you what the original looks like. So this was theirs and now this is mine. So um, really amazing way to make a lot of content um, in a professional looking way uh, in a very short amount of time. So let me know if you have any questions.